Hello and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. I'm your host, Aaron Stewart, and today I'm joined by Dr. Ling Kai, the Chief Scientific Officer and co-founder of Shook Meats in Singapore. Kai, welcome to the show. Hi everyone. Nice to be chatting with you, Aaron. Regardless of whether it's an investor, venture capital, or it's uh, a consumer who's waiting to try your shrimp, how close are you to the first shrimp landing on someone's plate? We started about two years ago, so I would say we're about halfway. It takes us about a year or more to set up our pilot manufacturing plants in Singapore. Um, actually, I think anywhere in the world because the equipment takes about a year to commission and build. So it takes quite a long time to get there, but we're looking forward to our launch in about two years' time. Beyond food, what's the potential for cell-based products in everyday life over the next two, three, five, ten years? I think the biggest work that we're doing here is for food, but these similar technologies can also be applied back to where we started from, the medical sector. So in the future, from what we've learned to bring down the cost, it might not be so expensive to have patient-derived specific organs. So for example, to make a heart, to make a bladder, it wouldn't be as costly as it is right now. Some of these techniques that we are using are very similar on both ends. The other thing that I would think would be derived from what we're working on in the cell-based meat sector. Actually, one of the companies like Intern Culture is already actively working on this, is to work on drug testing. So another medical purpose. And the last one would be, since we're deriving and working on many species and some companies like Vow from Australia are working on kangaroos and other animals, these animal cell lines that we make can also be used to help save endangered or extinct animals. So those are the big ones that I would foresee cell-based meats contributing to. It sounds like there's a lot of upside there, uh, both for food, but also even contributing to things like organ transplants or bringing back extinct species. What's been the difficulty, if anything, when you've been trying to fundraise and get attention in the market about your product and what you're doing? I think the biggest difficulty is how much money it takes to get to the market. Like we talked about, we're still halfway there to get the first shrimp into market. And even then, that is more expensive than the current shrimp available. So there is hesitance from a lot of the investors because this is a long-term investment. Most of the investors who have come and support our causes are mission-driven investors from funds, family offices, people who believe and really want to, for example, save the ocean or who want to support alternative meats. Um, it's difficult for a lot of the typical venture capital investment firms because they're used to a quick turnover Whereas for us, it takes us at least seven years to get a profit. So Kai, we've talked about obviously the potential for cell-based meat as a food source. Um, and there's things like potential organ transplants and growing new organs later. If you're looking ahead 10, 20 years down the road, if everything comes to fruition, how will cell-based meat and that technology potentially change the way that we live and that we do things? I think the biggest impact is where we get our food from. We'll be able to completely trace where our food comes from, from the source to how it ends up on your plate. And there's no longer reliance on fishing or farming, especially for crustaceans. That will allow time for the oceans to recover. Um, we wouldn't be depleting all of these animals that we've been catching from the ocean. This also reduces the need to remove the mangroves for shrimp farming, which require a lot of low coastal lands. And also we use a lot less water and land in terms of manufacturing for the meats itself. So I think environmental impacts are huge and also the health and animal impact that we might have from selling these meats is great. And I think that's a great place to leave off for today. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ling Kai for joining us. And this has been Coffee and Conversation, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.